Happy Tuesday! We are here in Berkeley, California, and I am with my friend Alpha Lo. My name is Philosophical, and uh, we have just finished an incredible workshop called Bridging into Gift Culture. And so we're going to talk about gift culture a little bit. And Alpha Lo and I have an interesting connection because. Uh, he helped come up with the concept of the gift circle, which then spread through Charles Eisenstein and inspired myself and the fellow cultural recyclists to start doing these gift circles. And um, it turned out that after I left the bike trip of going across America with the cultural recyclists, Alpha Lo actually joined our troop. So he was riding with my other friends after I had left, but we had never actually met but now we're finally meeting, and here I am surfing on his couch um, <laughs> in Berkeley, California, after we've done this incredible workshop together. So, happy Tuesday, my friend. Tuesday. <laughs> so, I understand you love the gift circles as much as I do, and I'm curious what your vision is for the future of gift circles, how we can spread them in other ways, and how we can just connect through the internet. Um, and we're gonna have like a triangular conversation here, if that's all right with you. Um, I'm just curious what you wanna share about gift circles. Yeah, so gift circles brings um, more of a gift economy into our local communities, also relocalize the economies and retribalize our communities. So, um, and gift circles, you know, a place where we share our needs and we can help each other with our needs and then we share our gifts and help each other without trade or barter or money. Mm -hmm. So, um, part of what I see as the future of gift circles is kind of guiding people to facilitate them in even better ways so we connect at deeper levels, like gift circles can become really sacred spaces where really profound things happen. Mm -hmm. And also facilitating gift circles to work with each other, with other gift circles, so you're kind of creating a flow of um, economic flow between gift circles, so there's this wider network within our communities, and also hopefully um, into the global community. Um, and also having gift circles also have maybe smaller parts, the pods, or also spinning off like even deeper communities where people are really connecting deeply, um, the core communities that Bill Cowell talks about. Mm. And uh, maybe integrating with online uh, gift gift economy tools like Gift Flow and other things, and um, and I feel like gift circles can also spawn other types of circles. So in a circle, in a gift circle, a couple of people may say they want to do a poetry reading, or a couple of people may say they want to learn cooking. Mm -hmm. So that could spin off other circles. So it can spin off yoga circles and meditation, uh, and music yes. circles. So if it's done right, a gift circle, a couple of gift circles, of community can actually spawn a whole plethora of circles. Wow, yeah. that is a cool vision. It, I, I like to picture it kind of like, um, kind of like a dandelion. How there's a, uh, there's a centerpiece, and then there's like these strands with these other circles, and then they keep like branching out, um, kind of like a fractal, of just. Or another way of thinking of it is like, you throw a bunch of pennies in a pond, and then there's all these circles that are like. Or if it's just raining in a pond, that's easier to envision. It's like all these different circles with different ripples coming out and overlaying each other. Yeah. Um, yeah, circle, like the gift circle um, is kind of like, what it does is it gathers the community to actually begin working with each other. Mm -hmm. And so the community can kind of learn that it doesn't always have to go to outside help, say, or like to large government you money. You go to Walmart. To yeah, get our needs met. Yeah, you can work with your community, and you don't. You can actually birth new projects. So, like um, in the Ashland gift circle, it, that 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 gift circle helps was partly responsible for helping like a whole gift economy clinic kind of spawn mm -hmm. in the Ashland area. So people can find help with each other to spawn different projects. So, like gift circles in your area can actually be a very kind of vital incubator of a lot of like community projects that helps mm -hmm. communities. Right on. And Alpha has worked on this incredible open collaboration encyclopedia, which basically just 
outlines all these different techniques for for um, collaboration that people are doing all over the world and um, <clears throat> it, it's very much about just doing it yourself like DIY I heard the concept recently instead of a democracy it's a duocracy mm. so it's just like encouraging people that we are the ones who are gonna do it we don't have to wait for government to do it we don't have to like cry ourselves to sleep because there's nothing we can do it's like we got a whole encyclopedia of techniques for facilitating all these things we want to do so this is a very empowering book I'll, I'll post a link to the open collaboration dot wordpress dot com which also has a lot of information but fantastic work on this yeah and also shout out to my co-collaborator on this book uh, Alden Bevington What's up, Alden? This is a shout out. <laughs> Can you hear us through the YouTube verse? Uh, and uh, yeah, so this open collaboration, like, how do you actually get a lot of people to work together? So there's actually new, you know, a lot of facilitation techniques that are birthing, like open space technology, appreciative inquiry, deep democracy, like, and how you, and there's techniques for working how you do projects together because. It's not so clear when you have less of a hierarchy how actually people collaborate. And so mm -hmm. there's things like agile project management and other things that actually really allow people to work together in new ways. And so you see this happening at Burning Man where the people coming to the festival are actually putting on, which is different than normal festivals, which the organizers put on, or with open source software, whether everyone like is, is, in, is allowed to help in, input into the writing of the software, or Wikipedia, which isn't like Encyclopedia Britannica, which was written by the experts, is actually mm -hmm. written by everyone. Maybe everyone is an expert in their own way, perhaps. And speaking of Burning Man, I am very excited and grateful that I have just solidified a ticket to Burning Man. So thank you to my friend who is helping me with that. But my friend Alpha is looking for a ticket to Burning Man, so perhaps we can combine our, our online gift circle for this need since he is offering so many incredible gifts perhaps we can with your help we can help find him a ticket to burning man uh, so please send me a message if you know how to find one um, any other crazy ideas or yeah so like share? we've been working with integrated gift circles and nonviolent communication and also some other facilitation techniques as actually a process which actually allows people say an organizational project who actually worked with each other. So they're, they're hearing about each other's needs in the project and actually helping each other. And also, like the nonviolent communication, other facilitation techniques helps deal with things when your needs seem to be conflicting. Mm -hmm. So say um, you're working on a river cleanup project and some people want to use gloves and some people don't want to use gloves. Like, how do you deal with those things where there seems to be a conflict? Mm -hmm. And nonviolent communication and some other techniques actually helps you see that there isn't actually a conflict. If you look at your deeper needs or the deeper underlying things, there's ways people can find common ground, empathize, and then work things out. And mm -hmm. so, so combining gift circles with these other facilitation techniques is actually also providing a kind of management or even a political process because that's actually how we could birth new, a new political system is instead of having electing officials who pass laws and then pass, you know, order people around, you can actually facilitate people actually work with each other. So different demographics or different groups that don't agree with each other in a town, mm -hmm. project, or whatever, can actually use these processes to themselves figure out things instead of having to wait for the officials or whatever to deal with the problem. Uh, oh, we're doing it ourselves and you can, <coughs> and you can too. So please check out the links below, post any questions, video responses, good ideas, anything you want to do. We're gonna close with a little beatboxing or alphonics as he likes to say. So Thank you for watching. Peace and love.